Good morning and uh, welcome again to our morning devotion insight. This morning I want to share with you how to acquire patience. How to acquire patience. And uh, my text is found in Romans chapter 2, verse 7. It says to those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and immortality, he will give eternal life. You know, we see that um, this text actually talks about uh, forbearance or patience, you know, and uh, patience is something that we all need. And sometimes when there is no patience exhibited in our lives, uh, there are few things that can happen. We stop praying, we grow weary in well-doing, and at the same time, some of us even, uh, we fail to remain faithful. Uh, so patience is very important. So now we want to find out how to acquire patience. Okay, and the first thing we want to see that patience begins with obedience. Uh, patience begins with obedience. We make a decision uh, to be patient. We ourselves have to make a decision that we want to be patient. You know, in Acts chapter 2, verse 42 says they continued steadfastly. They continued obediently. What did they continue? They continued together. They obey together, together to be a help to one another, to encourage one another. And then the other thing is that in order to gain the victory, we must be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding uh, in good works, abounding in faith, abounding in love. So we must gain our victory by staying steadfast. It means we must continue to be patient, uh, continue to uh, don't be easily shaken, uh, don't be easily uh, swayed, but rather to patiently wait on God to patiently live for Him. And then we must also be faithful. Uh, we must be faithful unto death. Because why? Because then we are showing our obedience. Patience begins and ends with obedience. Obedient until death. Till death. Uh, where we will say, God, I'm, I'm obediently here. I'm here faithful to you even till my last breath. All right, and so an obedience is coupled with a promise. It says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 21 says, To him who overcomes, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. So it comes with when obedience it comes with what is coupled with a promise. And what's the promise? The promise is that when finally uh, we will we are going to sit on the throne with Jesus Christ. So be patient. Right? And patience always begins with obedience. And then patience continues with edification. You know, in Paul's life, we, we see Paul's example edifies us. How? Because when we look at him, he went through uh, uh, whatever things that he goes through, life, difficulties, you know, uh, he remained patient. Uh, his attitude was just like Christ. Uh, his attitude was like Christ. He says that I'm crucified with Christ. No longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. And he quotes it in from Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. All right? And then his expectations having been patient. That means he says what? He says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 to 8, he says, I have fought a good fight. I've finished my race. Uh, and at the end, at the last leak of his life, he says, I fought a good fight. I finished the race. That means Paul exemplifies patience. He exemplifies and edifies us to say, we can do the same. Uh, we can do the same. Whatever problems we may go through, you know, in fact, in the Second Corinthians, Paul talks about how, how many times he was uh, persecuted, uh, flogged, and uh, you know, how many times he was stoned, and etc. He actually named all the things that he went through patiently. So patience continues with edification. When we are patient, our lives are lived in patience upon God, upon our own self, upon our surrounding. What happens is that it edifies the road, those that are around us. It encourages them. All right, And then Paul says it's up to us because nothing else can separate us from the love of God. That's why in Romans chapter 8, he says, nothing can separate us, neither death nor life, neither the present nor the future or whatever can separate us from the love of God. And because God loves us so much, nothing can separate us from the love of God. That's why we can stay patient huh? and we can learn to patiently be waiting upon God. All right, And then also when we see that 
Christ's example also as uh, as edifies us. Why? Because we are to run patiently, looking to Jesus. You know, looking to Jesus. That's found in Hebrews chapter twelve, verse one to three. Tells us that there are such a great crowd of witnesses. They have run before us. They have patiently endured the race. So they are cheering us on. So their patience continues to edify us to say, I can do it. We can do it. Amen. And then lastly, is that patience finishes. Huh? Finishes with trial. Is if Christians are going to be persecuted, we will be persecuted. Huh? Everyone who wants to live a godly life will be persecuted. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, 12 says, everyone who wants to live a godly life, we will be persecuted. Huh? It takes trial to make a Christian perfect or complete in Christ. Uh, James 1 verse 2 says, Count it all joy uh, when we go through uh, different, various kinds of trials because that is going to make us uh, build our character. So there will be no father Abraham without where, we, where he says, where God says, get out of what? Get out of this land. Take your son and offer him there. You know, without trials, without the moving forward, without the, the, the patience of uh, us believing in God, there will be no way that we can be able to be standing firm. And just like Father Abraham, without going out to out from your land and unto a land that I will show you, there will be no Father Abraham. There will be no nation of Israel. Huh? Then there will be no prophet Moses without standing before Pharaoh or the wilderness wanderings. There will be no Joshua without battles in Canaan. There will be no David without Goliath and his flights from Saul. And no Daniel without the lions. No apostles without persecutions. No Jesus without the cross. Amen. So in this short little uh, sharing on patience, we have discovered how to acquire patience. How? is by our obedience. We can acquire uh, patience by our obedience. We can acquire patience by edification from those around us. We see them faithful, strong, moving on. And by also trial sometimes in our lives uh, that will help us to acquire patience. Let us this morning say, how am I going to acquire patience? I'm going to learn to grow, to be faithful, learn to grow, to be obedient, learn to go through trials, learn to see the examples of others. Amen. God bless you and may we live a life that is with the patience of the Lord.